It's one of the hottest tickets of the year. Moviegoers queue to see founding of a republic. China's blockbuster film which charts the rise of Chairman Mao and his Communist Party over the nationalists to rule the country. Nearly 200 of the country's biggest movie stars, including Hollywood celebrities Jackie Chan, Jiang Ziyi and Jet Li, donated their time for free, helping keep the film's budget under 5 million US dollars. It depicts the development of the Chinese revolution from weakness to strength. It shows when the Communist Party led the people to liberate the country. It's really authentic. The content helps to revive patriotism among Chinese people. More than 100 cultural performances are scheduled to celebrate Communist China's 60th birthday on October 1st. Something officials hope will strike a chord with the public. I think all these events convey a very influential message to society, to the public and to ourselves. They convey the message that our country has developed from a newly founded nation which had nothing to the strong country we have now become. But not everyone feels like celebrating. Ai Weiwei, a contemporary artist and social commentator, is an outspoken critic of the ruling party. He says the performances are an outrageous attempt to gloss over the country's lack of democracy and freedom of speech. After six years of uh, having the power, you know, and they never improved their, their, their propaganda skill. They are really uh, so poor and so sad and uh, so obvious. Beijing is engrossed by the anniversary festivities, with crowds flocking to decorations across the city. October 1st will be an opportunity to reflect on the country's history and look forward to the future.